Recent high-profile incidents involving flash mobs disrupting, disrupting public events in Cuyahoga County have prompted the city of Cleveland to take a proactive step. News Channel 5 John Kosick is live in our newsroom to explain. Yeah, Danita, the flash mob that disrupted the Coventry Street Fair led to Cleveland Heights passing a controversial curfew. Well, the city of Cleveland's too big to do that, but they do want to send a message. Use technology to cause trouble, and you'll pay an additional price. No one knows the power of the internet more than Judson Lipley and Matt Harding. Judson is the man behind the YouTube sensation Evolution of Dance. 177 million hits over the last five years. You know, the beauty of the internet is it never dies. You know, it's not like a TV show that runs for a while and then, it's, you know, you have to catch in syndication on something else. You know, the internet's still there. He's here tonight at the Free Stamp with Matt Harding, who is also an internet dancing sensation. A 34-year-old from Connecticut who has bad danced himself around the world and developed a cult following in the process. A following that tonight, through the power of the internet, showed up to join him in Cleveland. Lisa drove from Indianapolis for this after driving to Detroit last night. We like road trips. <laughs> We love Matt. I live on the internet. You know, these videos get seen all over the world by people that I don't get to meet. So it's so much fun to get to travel around and meet the people and, and, and talk to them and find out about them. It's great. Five, six, seven, eight. This Cleveland City Council says is the internet and social media used for something good. But they fear what they see happening in other cities, it being used for something bad. Flash mobs, whose intent is to cause problems at what are typically family friendly events. That's why council wants to send a message. If you're using the social media to bring other individuals to our family friendly events with the intent on disrupting those events, then we're going to come down. We're going to come down on you very hard. That would be in the form of an additional charge, a minor misdemeanor the police could now file against anyone arrested at a flash mob event where harm is done. To be clear, though, we're not looking to stop this. We want to keep the singing in the malls. We want to keep all of the flash mobbing that is dancing and whatever you do, that's positive. We don't, but the negative use of it with an intent to disrupt, we're going to speak to. With upcoming festivals set for Huff, Glenville, and of course the feast in Little Italy, council wanted to get this on the books to start. It would be a $100 fine for the first offense, $250 for the second. They'll look at making it tougher if need be. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News Channel 5.